Pam, and I just want to start the new year off with a thought for you. Um, I am the youngest in my family, the baby of the family, <laughs> and I came along 10 years after my closest sibling. So my oldest sibling, my brother, um, when I was still in junior high, he was getting married and starting his family, and before I even started high school, I was an aunt. Now, my niece, Emily, my oldest niece, um, she and her mom actually lived with us for a little while because my brother was in the army and he was deployed. So when she was a baby, I'd come home from school every day and I'd hold her and I'd play with her. And it was like having my own live baby doll. And I have a special connection with her even to this day uh, because uh, I just felt like I was uh, another mother for her when she was really, really little. And there's a story about Emily that I always think of this time of year. Now, she had grown a little bit older and they weren't living with us, but they came over to visit on New Year's Day. And she ran into the house, she was still really little, <laughs> she ran into the house grinning from ear to ear and shouting, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Except the New Year didn't, know, didn't come out like New Year, it always came out Happy knew you somewhere in her tiny little brain that pixie little face that was so cute um, it had transformed from happy new year to happy new you and every time she said it it was happy new you and every year when I start to kind of examine my uh, life as the new year starts to come and make some new year's resolutions I always think about Emily which wishing all of us a happy new you because at this time when we start to think about those new year's resolutions and we really start to um, just kind of uh, assess our lives um, to make some changes and to celebrate the things that are working and then to make the adjustments that we need to make for the next new year. It's kind of fun to think about us becoming a new you. But you know what? That doesn't have to be just at the start of a calendar year. You know, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5.17, I'm going to read it to you. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Every day in the life of a believer can be a new start, a fresh start. What, the, what amazing grace God had for us when he um, sent his son Jesus to die on the cross so that the balance of our sin, our wrongdoing, and the things that are held against us could be wiped clean and we could have a new start in him, new life like that precious baby niece of mine that I held when she was so little, this new fresh start. We can have that every day as Christians. And you know what? It's not just a one-time thing. It's continual. Uh, you know, Paul wrote to the church at Ephesus in Ephesians, in Ephesians 4, I'm finding it for you, verses 21 to 24. And we know he's talking to Christians because in verse one, 21, it starts out saying, assuming that you have heard about him and were taught in him as the truth is in Jesus. So they've already heard about Jesus. They've been taught in him. They believe in him, right? These are Christians he's talking to. To put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life, and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God, in true righteousness and holiness. So every day we can push aside, we can put away our old desires and our old tendencies, our habits and our the manner of living that leads us astray. And we can put on that new life in Christ, that strength and that power in the Holy Spirit so that we can overcome. And I just love that idea of new life every day this year in 2018. So this year, I want to wish you guys a happy new you. As I know, like some of you, I'm going to be making some New Year's resolutions, and I'm sure you'll see some videos and blog posts about that at devotioninaction.com. But, um, but I want to start off the new year by celebrating my new life in Christ and by really just kind of thanking God for what He has already done for me and provided for me. And I hope you will too. So our action step for today at the start of this brand new year is just to say thank you, God, to look in the mirror and say, Happy New You. 
I've been made a new creature in Christ, and this is a new, fresh start today. So let's pray together. Dear God, I thank you. I thank you for new life in Christ, for a fresh start, for forgiveness, and for being wiped clean. Help me not to grow cold or callous to that wonder, not to be complacent in my sin, but every day to put off my old habits and my old desires and my old tendencies and to put on that new life in Christ, that I would remain in Christ so that I can be a new creature. Old things have passed away and all things are become new. I just thank you for that. Thank you for that amazing grace that wipes us clean and help us to start off this year just spending time with you and remaining in you so that we can live out our lives as new creatures in Christ to be devotion and action to the world around us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Day and a great start to 2018. Keep on checking out the YouTube channel and the blog because we're going to have some new posts coming up. I've got some things in the works planned for January, so keep your eyes out for that. If you enjoyed this video, give it a comment, a like, thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel or my blog so that you don't miss out on anything that's coming up. And check out all the great blog posts over at devotioninaction.com. I will uh, link that below. Thanks so much for watching.